He's not in the book, but he's at your service. This is Jayco, and today I'll be doing my very first basics video. Inspired by Chris McFeely and other YouTubers, I've decided to do my own basics series. For my series, I'll be doing characters and franchises I've grown to love over the years, from video games to television. For my first episode in this series, I'll be doing the Winnie the Pooh character, Gopher! Gopher made his debut in the Winnie the Pooh franchise in the 1966 short Winnie the Pooh in a Honey Tree. Unlike most of the main cast, Gopher didn't appear in the original books by A.A. Milne. He was originally intended to replace Piglet, however this plan didn't go through due to Piglet appearing in the following short where Gopher had a minor role. Gopher is mainly known for two things, his love for digging and explosives, and the whistle was only makes when he does the letter S. A trait of his I have trouble imitating when mimicking his voice. Gopher would end up making frequent appearances in the TV show The New Adventures of Wayne the Pooh, usually joining Pooh and his friends on their adventures or using Rabbit's Garden as his personal construction site. In addition, he is often seen wearing a helmet with a light in most episodes. A running gag in the franchise is Gopher or someone else falling down his holes, mostly due to the character or is not looking where they're going. Here's some episodes where Gopher had a major role. Nothing but the tooth, where he helped skip who's oh, sweet oof on the pack rats as well as give the gang info on them. Things that go piglet in the night where he joins the gang in the ghost hunt. Fish out of water where Gopher is forced to move in with Rabbit due to his tunnels being overrun with fish. Lights out where Rabbit borrowed Gopher's helmet without asking, revealing that the helmet isn't just for the head protection, and due to him having a fear of the dark to the point where he freaks out the instant someone says the word. Rabbit marks the spot, where he joins Pooh, Piglet, and Egger in a game of pirates. Bubble Trouble, where the wind blows away Gopher's front door, turning it into a portable black hole. No Rabbit's a fortress, where he tries to help Rabbit out of a fortress, which Rabbit unintentionally trapped himself in. Prize Piglet, where he participates in a race for what the gang believe is a trophy earned by Piglet. Fast Friends, where his plan to make Pooh faster backfires big time. What's the score, Pooh? Where he becomes the goalie of a game that looks like a cross between soccer and hockey while at the same time I am wanting to work. Both of which are disrupted by one of Gopher's boulders and intentionally released by Pooh. Pooh skies where he and Pooh go to fix the falling sky. Easy come, easy Gopher, where he plans to build the ultimate tunnel based on his grandpa's equation. Shovel, shovel, toil and trouble, where he gets a combination shovel and jackhammer and goes overboard with his digging. To dream the impossible scheme where we finally meet his grandpa in person. Gopher also appears in all the holiday specials of the show, usually having a small role such as chomping down a tree, making a pumpkin pie, and trying to dress up as one of his friends only to be mistaken for another animal. After for a very merry poo year, Gopher has been seen in movies, shows, or specials only appearing in a flashback in the Heffalump Halloween movie. He also made cameos in Goof Troop episodes Terminal Pete and Bring on the Rain, as well as the House of Mao, as one of the many guests, namely the episode Max's Embarrassing Date. Gosh! Termites! Well, I'm an awfully big termite! Gopher was originally voiced by Howard Morris in the original short. Since the 80s, Gopher has been voiced by Michael Goff, not the one who played Alfred in the Tim Burton Batman films, mind you. Gopher also was appearances in video games, namely Piglet's Big Game where he appears in the levels focusing on Alan Rabbit, and Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3, with the latter not only marking the end of his first year-long absence from the franchise, but also all having him meet and interact with Lumpy for the first time. Despite being absent from the Winnie the Pooh franchise during most of the 21st century and not being in the original books, Gopher still remains one of my favorite characters. And those are the basics on Gopher. What's your favorite episode and or scene featuring this busy little digger? And well, next time, stay tuned for more episodes of Jago's Basics.